You are looking live at downtown Hartford where a victory parade is just about to get started for the national champs, the UConn men's basketball team. That was Ashley Baylor. Yes, it was. Hi. Good she to see you. She'll be joining us in a minute. Happy Saturday morning, everyone. It's a national championship Saturday. I'm Eric Dobrens. It's parade day. It and is. I'm Katherine Hauser. We are so happy to be here. Happy you are joining us. We have reporters, as you just saw, Ashley <laughs> Baylor, all along the parade route. We're going to be bringing you the action as it happens. So let's get you up to speed about where the players are going to be stepping off, where this parade is starting. So it's going to go from the state capitol building at Trinity Street and Elm Streets. And then from there, there, it's going to go up Trinity Street through the Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Arch and then right onto Jewel Street and then it's going to turn onto Trumbull Street and at the end of the intersection of Asylum and Trumbull Streets, that's where a rally is going to be held right outside the main entrance of the XL Center. And we're excited for this because the rally is expected to happen around 1130. There are a number of players who are expected to speak coaches uh, and, and other guests as well. The governor, the lieutenant governor, the mayor of Hartford. So we're anticipating that in just about a half hour. Let's go right to our News 8's Eva Zamaris, who is along the parade route for us. Eva, tell us where you're at. We are right here in Bushnell Park, and I think we have some really big Huskies fans, right? Yeah. We are, you can feel the excitement. We've got three Huskies fans right here. We've got Remo, we've got Nick, we've got Hunter. How excited, Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Okay, let me tell you, was it really exciting the entire championship just waiting for UConn to win? Yes. Did you stay up to watch the game? No. You didn't, but when you woke up, were you like, yes, Huskies? Yeah. Yeah. And were you, have you been rooting for them the entire time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're moving on down. Nick, or tell me, how big of a Husky fan are you? A big one. A big one. Have you been watching them your entire life? Not really. Not really. I think someone behind you is nodding. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're yeah. Big Husky we, fans. We've got all the posters up in my classroom in Madison, and we are all in. Yeah, Huskies. And I stayed up, and I'm tired. But it was worth it. <laughs> Woo! Back to back, baby! Do you have a player that you're most excited to see today? Are you just excited for the entire team to come on by? Yes. Yes. Okay, we're going to bring this down the line a little bit. We've got Gene over here, who is a graduate from UConn. How excited are you to be here today? Very excited. This is my first parade for them, too. I have not done this. It, they were great. They were just so much fun to watch on TV a couple days ago. It was amazing. Okay, so last year when you saw this victory parade in Hartford, were you hoping for a big win this year so that you could come? Yes. <laughs> and what is it like just being in the crowd, surrounded by Husky fans? Oh, it's just fun. Everybody's great. Everybody's talking to each other. We're all having a good time. Okay, being here today as an alum, how proud does that make you? Very proud. It's just amazing. I just, I still even remember, I hate to say, 1989 when, uh, I can't remember the name of the guy. <laughs> from Duke. A very good player. <laughs> <laughs> from Duke, they, um, that, they're playing against Duke, and they won that, that one shot, and that was kind of the beginning of the whole program and everything. So it's been amazing. It's been an amazing ride. Amazing. Well, we are right in the middle of the action. Can we get one more cheer for our Huskies? Yeah! Huskies! We have so much more coming up from right here in Bushnell Park, but right now we'll send it back to you guys at the studio. Bye. Hey guys, not sure if you can hear me or not. There's a lot of noise here. Let's come this way. We're at Trumbull and Asylum Street. Let's have Garrett, our photographer, show you the crowd here. Hey guys, how's it going? Show the crowd, Garrett. Show the crowd, Garrett. A lot of people are lined up here. We've been here in this area for about an hour or so. People are fired up, pumped up. A lot of people are hoping to see their favorite players here. Let's talk to some folks over here. Hi, guys. <laughs> Tell me about today, why you're here. Yeah, celebrate the Huskies! Who's your favorite player? Klingham! Going to the NBA. Uh, I know, yeah, good luck. Now, did you think they were going to win the whole time? Were Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Absolutely. You come all the way. 
Describe the atmosphere here. What does it feel like today? It's, am ooh, it's amazing, fun, it's cheerful, it's a great day to be here. All right, great. You look great. You got your Husky sweatshirt on, your pom-poms. You ready to go? Ooh, ready to go. All right, cool. Let's go down this way over here, Garrett. So, hey, guys. Hey, how are you? Let's go, Husky. I need to hear a Husky chant. Can you do that for me? Let's go, Huskies, on three. One, two, three. Let's go, Huskies! So, Dad, let me talk to you for a second. So, tell me what this means to be here. I assume you're with your sons and your friends. Boys and their friends. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's a nice moment, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Go Huskies, baby. Feels like there's a warmth and a friendliness in the air, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Everyone's here to have a great time and celebrate our team and do it again next year, huh? Yeah. How about that? Let's yeah. go. What do you guys think? Number seven? Oh, I think we're going for number seven, uh, back going, to back to back. What, we're, what are we calling it? The stairway to seven? It's stairway the stairway to seven. seven. I yeah. like that. I like that. All right, they're telling me to move on. I got to go. Thanks, right, guys. Have fun. Come this way, Garrett. Let's go over here. Show the crowd here, Garrett. Hey, guys. How's it going? Excited to be here? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, let's go, Yukon! Woo! <laughs> All right, guys, so as you can see, a lot of people are having fun. The weather's cooperating. It's in the 50s. There's cloudy skies a little bit, mostly sunny, but just a great atmosphere. We'll throw it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Jeff, looks like you're having a lot of fun out there. I love kids' brutal honesty. Did you did you stay up to watch the game? No, but I was excited. When Do you I have a favorite player? Playing. No. No, I don't. Hey, let's get some live pictures outside. Let's see uh, what's happening along the parade route. We have the UConn Cheerleaders Alumni Association. They are getting ready to make a move along the parade route here. We were talking about this earlier. It has been, again, back-to-back -back seasons, right? Yep. Eric, you and, and John, you know, you've been with these players all along this, this two-year run where they've made history, right? This is the first time in 17 years that you have a team that's won back-to-back -back championships, which is huge. So what what is your take on, on this moment right now with this team? Well, you know, I've been saying it for a long time. John and I both talk about it. This is the one thing that kind of galvanizes our communities. You know, you think about it, everyone gets behind the Huskies, and I think the team, the coaching staff, they all feel this. They live for days like this. When they did this last year, they said, we're coming back, let's do it again next year. But there was so much pressure on this team. You think about it, they were 37-3 and three this year. They played 40 games and won 37 games. Incredible. It's an amazing accomplishment. They had a tremendous roster. They believed in their coach, and Coach Hurl is the first one to tell you he's a hard-driving taskmaster. You've seen the interviews with him. He's very tough on his players, but the results speak for themselves. I love how he says, Hurley says, he's an old-school coach, and he is about accountability and having players that put the team first, the we first. Yes, the statistics, all the other things don't matter. He puts players in a position to win, as you see the Fox Sports broadcast. They do all the uh, games on the radio for the UConn basketball team. But he does every practice, every game, every media availability. There's an accountability from his players, from his staff. There is one goal. The goal is to win a championship. And I just, we were talking about this before. Um, this is the 17th parade we're covering. Ashley Baylor's out in the field covering this as well. And she joins us now with more. Hi, Ashley. Hi guys, while well, I'm out here, of course, by the podium where we are, of course, going to see the players come finish. Look at this crowd out here. We've been watching people just slowly gather. Oh, I see a sign over there. We always love to see the signs, but some of these people here have been, I mean, they've been here for well over an hour. They've been here for about 90 minutes waiting to see, of course, their favorite players. Klingon, he is definitely going to be missed next year. Newton, Caravan, Castle, Spencer, everybody waiting to see them. Hey, who's the biggest Husky fan here? I gotta talk to him. All right, you guys, <laughs> there's a good shirt right there. Are you gonna miss him next year? Yes, absolutely. We love him. Yeah. Well, we look forward to seeing him do well in the NBA, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And you've been standing out here a while? Yes, let's go Huskies! Yeah! Oh, you already know. Back to back, baby. We already knew it. Mixed for six was prophesied last year. So we doing it right now. Are we going to go for seven? Oh, 
It'd be like heaven is seven, baby. Let's go. Let's we already put the seven is on. the number. Seven, seven number. yes, that's the number. All right, yes. perfect. Yeah. Did either one of you go to UConn? Listen, no. I used to go to Spring Waking back in the day. I'm gonna ah, tell you, tell I was here when I was 16. The first national championship with uh, Richard Hamilton, Jake Bosco, and when Carl Hobbs was assistant coach. I did a, a mini camp on the floor in there. Wow. And yes, I got all Richard Hamilton, all the autographs yep. and everything. I was supposed to play at UConn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I wanted money, you know, from Avery Point. I was supposed to go to Avery Point, then to UConn. Yep. But it didn't work out, but it's okay. I'm here right now. Support. We are still here supporting us. Oh, yeah, oh, definitely. Yes, definitely. Perfect. And I'm getting my bachelor's degree next year. Too. Awesome. Yes, Love yes, to hear yes. That. yes. All right, I'm going to move down here. You know what? The weather's cooperating. That's what we want. Yes, it's a little bit windy, but I don't think even a hurricane would keep these fans from coming out here. Someone over here had a sign. Where is it? Who had the sign? It's an appropriate sign, right? All right. <laughs> I wanted to double check. You never know. Oh, nice. What do you think he's going to say? Probably no, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. It says, Kim, marry me. Why not? Why not, folks? All right. So, hope. All right, so the parade's going to be starting soon. We'll check back with you guys in a little bit. Look at that turnout. What a crowd. That is unreal. We, we, Bob Wilson was there last night, kind of gave us a walk and yep. talk of what was going to happen. He said there'll be tens of thousands of people. And they did not just Yeah, last year there was an estimated about 45,000 spectators who came to cheer on the Huskies, and it looks like people showed up. We were a little worried about the weather, but it's working out just fine for the most part. I love how people were saying, Stairway to seven. Yes. Uh, seven in heaven. I, I love that people are getting ready already, already for next year. And Dan Hurley last year, he called it at this parade. He says, we're going for six. Yep. And in the mix it. for six. That was the slogan this year, in the mix for six. And you were just listening to Ashley talk to that fan when he was there at the first parade back in 1999. I mentioned it before through to Ashley. This is the 17th time we've done this since 1995. You told, I didn't realize that. that. And how long have you been covering the Huskies, men and women? Well, I was a student at UConn back in the day. So in the mid-90s when I was a writer at the Daily Campus. So, yeah, I've seen it all. I've been there for all the championships, the TV stations since I've been here in 1998. We've been to all the Final Fours, uh, all the Big East championships, the East regular season championships. I mean, you talk about just a dream job to cover this team, both the men and women. Hartford Athletic, another sports team, uh, making their mark in our community. Uh, Mascot's got some moves. I know, huh? And you love the colors, the little uh, whaler colors, the green and blue. Yeah. But everyone, this is the cool part about this parade, and Coach Hurley says it all the time. It's about everyone getting involved. So this makes them just as much happy as winning a game, is seeing people involved in these parades. Well, it was awesome. So even on my, my drive to the station, I saw people, they have the Yukon stickers and magnets on their cars. I was like, I know where they're heading. Exactly. I know exactly where they're going. And even along 84, you see the billboards, the campaign of the state. I think everybody in this state has such pride, and you feel like you're really swept up in this and part of it. No, we don't have a pro team team here yep. but look at us when it comes to college basketball you cannot deny the powerhouse that is UConn's basketball program programs men and women mm -hmm. they just have had incre an incredible season and to see the community come out like this it just speaks to that that level that championship level and this no one thought this was possible Catherine this is a small agricultural school in stores Connecticut how are you getting all these talented men and women to come here to play well obviously it started with Jim Calhoun, Gino Auriemma, built these programs. And how about this? UConn has won all these national championships. And on the men's side, this is the third different coach to win a title. So it just keeps continuing no matter who's running the show. It says a lot about University of Connecticut and the players that continue to attract. Well, you talk about a dynasty. I mean, this is it, right? Yeah. Dominance over decades. Coach Hurley said it at the podium. I'm sure a lot of people didn't like it in college basketball, but he said UConn's been running college basketball for the better part of 30 years and it is absolutely true. It's synonymous too and you know I was talking with the, one of the directors of admissions at the school who says that admissions uh, for, for students who are looking at UConn just to go to because of these these championship wins it's been higher than ever. 
their phones are ringing off the hook. They're the getting roof. flooded with emails with just interest because UConn is synonymous with with basketball and and championships. And just the the branding of the University of Connecticut. I'll tell you a quick story. When I was a student at UConn, working for the school newspaper, Chuck D from the rap group Public Enemy came to to give a speech at Jorgensen Auditorium, and he started off the speech by saying, "When my agent told me I was going to UConn as part of my tour, I said, oh, UConn, I don't want to go to Alaska. <laughs> because this was 1993, UConn wasn't on the map. But just think about how this program and how this university has grown. It is a blue blood. It is one of the top, it is the college basketball, the capital of the college basketball world. Every year, they are in the mix to win a national championship. Let's talk about this. This yep. was a big deal yesterday, the announcement that Donovan Klingon, yep. sophomore center, that he is entering into the NBA draft. And there there were rumors about this speculation, and now it's official, and he tweeted 32 out. And there was just a flood of comments from people who are saying, oh, we were hoping you were going to hang on one more season. But it's it's I, would, I can't imagine I can't imagine this at 20 years old. You know yep. that you have pros showing interest in you. That's that's a hard thing to to pass up. Listen, selfishly, we all wanted him to come back for a three peat. But listen, he won two national titles, and now he has a chance to really do his dream job. And Eva Zamaris is she doing her dream job on the parade yes, route, chasing down UConn fans. Hey, Eva. This is amazing. Can we get a big go Husky? Go having so much fun. We are here in Bushnell Park. We have eyes on the state capitol. I think I see the stars of the day making their way around the corner. But before we get here, I want to come introduce you to three wonderful fans. Remind me, tell everyone who you are. Layla. Layla. Abigail. Abigail. I'm Sophia. Okay, you guys, are you a Donovan fan? Yeah. Just like a little bit? No. How big of a fan are you? Yeah. Okay. Tell me, when did you guys first fall in love, become fans of the Yukon Huskies? Ever since we were little. Ever since you were little? Yeah. What has it been like seeing the team just dominate basketball the last two years with these back-to-back -back championships? It's been really amazing. It's a great opportunity for them. Have you been watching all the games? Almost. Almost. <laughs> okay. Were there any that were real nail biters that you're like, come on, come on, Huskies? Were you ever nervous or you knew this team would bring it home? Nervous. You were nervous. No! No! You no. knew! You knew! Yeah. You knew. You, now that you can see the team coming down the, almost down our street, how are you guys feeling? Very excited. Awesome. I'm gonna thank you so much. Do we have any alumni over here? No alumni. No alumni, just big fans. Can we get a big Go Huskies? Go Huskies! turn things around so you guys can see the parade. We've got so many wonderful groups and organizations that are participating in this today. And I can't even put into words the energy and the excitement that you can feel here in Hartford. It really is just a sea of blue with people excited to see the Yukon Huskies. I'm gonna send it back over to you in the studio as we await the stars of the day. We can see them. Awesome. We are waiting for that double-decker bus, right? I mean, what, how much fun is that the last oh, few years? Oh, yeah. have seen that. They're on the, on, the, on the roof waving to their fans, usually with the national championship trophy, all their paraphernalia. And, again, we're, we're just getting started here. And we are. What a crowd. You I know. Believe it. I, I really, people turned off. There we go. We got There's the shot the of the double-decker bus. Yep. See Donovan Klingon standing there waving to fans as they're uh, about to get going there. I am anticipating blue and white confetti. He's throwing something out to the crowd. I believe that's Alex Caravan. Is it Caravan? That's Caravan with the beard. Yep, that's Caravan there right you go. there. Yep. Alex Caravan, he's another one. He's just a sophomore. He's from uh, Massachusetts. So what a dream this has been for him to play in front of his friends and family. And that bus will go along the route through Hartford, as we talked about. And who's on the route today but Jeff Dedarian checking things out for us. Hey, Jeff, what are you finding out there? Hey, Eric, so a lot of the uh, parade goers are now starting to move a little bit. Let's show you what it looks like here live at Trinity and Asylum Streets. A lot of the people are starting to wait now for the open air buses to come up. Let's go off of me and show the folks here. They're all waiting for the players to come through. They're all excited. Let's go over here this way. Let's go over here. Let's come over here, come over here. Let's go guys, let's hear it. 
Are you excited to be here? Very Tell excited to be here. UConn rules. I know I'm wearing the wrong shirt, but... <laughs> so if Coach Hurley were here with us right now, what would you want to say to him? I would want to say thank you for all that you do for UConn and for Connecticut. And thank stay you. here, right? And you stay here. Stay oh, my God, yeah. Number seven? Number seven. All right, good job. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. All right, let's go this way, Garrett. In fact, no, let's go this way, show you what's happening here. Look a little bit to the right here, so... Again, this is Asylum Street. They're going to go to the right. Let's go this way, Garrett. And we were on Pratt Street a little while ago. That is packed with people outside enjoying some adult beverages, if you will. And now you can see here the parade has stopped a little bit, but a lot of folks are just waiting for the open-air buses to come in. And here we've got uh, other members of the parade here. We'll throw it back to you guys for right now. Thank you very much, Jeff. And we, of course, are looking at the national champion coach. himself, the head coach of the Huskies, Dan Hurley. Look at this. Throwing football, signing autographs. That's his associate head coach, Kamani Young. That's another thing we need to touch on is just how important his coaching staff is to him. Catherine. Yes. He is very, very loyal to his staff. And he every post game. I've ever been to. The first thing he says, oh, Kamani put together a great plan. Luke Murray did a great job. Luke Murray being uh, Bill Murray's Bill son. Murray's son, yep. Um, he is so quick to credit everyone else for the team's success, and it really is something uh, that he should be proud of. And look at this, the Yukon bus. I, nice. So we were driving back from Brooklyn, and we were behind the bus when we were leaving Brooklyn a couple weeks ago. Did people honk at you? I would imagine that there were some honks happening. It was hysterical. Just to, <laughs> We're right behind the team heading back, and uh, just what a sight. Thank God the weather cooperated. We talked to Ashley about that. And this is just so exciting for the fans. So what we should talk about the fact that Coach Dan Hurley, there were some concerns about rumors about, oh, is he, will he go to Kentucky? But don't worry, he's not going anywhere. But this was really, this is so interesting. This is the first time Governor Lamont chimed in on this yeah. when there was some possibility of, is he, is he going to stay? What's going to happen after the win? And he said, we had our, our reporter, Mike Cerulli, he asked him about it. And he said, I love Dan Hurley. I love what he means for those kids. I love people who are successful, and I pay for success, which which said to me that was an indicator the governor's going to put up his own money to make sure that Coach Dan Hurley's not going anywhere. What a position to be in if you're Dan Hurley. Right? You know, what a position to be in. You win two national championships. Kentucky, arguably one of the top programs in the history of college basketball, comes calling. But again, that was one of those things when the job opened up in your Kentucky or North Carolina or Duke, you always want to get the top coach. That's who you want. But why would Dan leave? This is the this right now is the top program in college basketball. It is a blue blood. Back-to-back -back national championships. They've won the most titles since 1999. They've won six. Why leave? And Dan's a Northeast guy. Grew up in New Jersey, went to Seton Hall. His dad is a Hall of Fame high school coach. His brother, Bobby, a, Hall of, uh, a great NBA player, and he's now a coach in, out in Arizona. His wife, Dan, made the joke, if I go anywhere else, my wife is going to divorce me because she wants to stay <laughs> close to family. And how about this? The UConn cheerleaders, Jonathan the Husky, they've been all part of this ride yes. as well. And Coach Hurley and other coaches are always quick to credit. This, is a, this isn't easy to be a cheerleader Jonathan. with a dog. Jonathan, look, you got to make all these trips, follow this team around. It's hard work for them as well. They have. They've been do, doing such a great job pumping up the crowd, being there with them as their support system all throughout this journey. It's been so fun to watch. And this again, oh, there's Senator Blumenthal. Watch your step, Senator. Last year, remember, we got a little... I know. Trip. So last Broke year, it, it, if you were watching, Senator Blumenthal, had, there was a misstep that had happened, and he, he broke his leg while on the parade room. I'm happy he's there. Yep. He's walking, doing just fine. So we hope that all goes well this year uh, here at the Victory Parade. And there he is, Coach Dan Hurley, once again, saying hello to fans. On he's a bus. celebrity in, in and of himself. You're seeing when, when the team was, was taking off to, to leave for Phoenix, everybody wants to take a selfie with him. Yeah. Everybody's surrounding him, wanting to have a moment. So a couple years ago, they lost in the first round of the NCAA tournament, right? Donovan Kling is a senior at Bristol Central High School. He's playing for a state championship. So the Huskies lost on a Friday night, I think in Buffalo, I'm not sure. Next day we're at the casino. He's there to watch Donovan. So he comes walking in with Tom Moore as assistant coach. They watch the game and at halftime, my son who was there along with a bunch of kids are all kind of off to the side standing. A, they were looking at his footwear because he had a pair of Nike shoes that everyone loved apparently. Right. But they're all standing because they were timid. They wanted to ask him to take a picture. 
So my son was standing there, and Dan turns to him and his friends, and probably about 20 kids said, all right, who's coming first? Wow. And he stood there and took selfies with the kids for the entire halftime, signed autographs. And he's, he, he is so, so receptive with the Yukon community and the crowd. He, he just goes out of his way to be available. And it's so important when you're the top dog at Yukon and the crowd, and he's, he is, he's sincere, that's the most important thing. He's sincere. You can t I think you can tell. It comes through. The other thing I was thinking, his vocal cords have to be strong, because every time after he's screaming throughout a whole game, he can still do uh, questions from the media, and his voice is still intact. So Yelling at the refs, yelling right. at his players. And there's the double-decker bus we've been waiting for and talking about. The UConn team on that double-decker bus, waving to their loyal fans. And just how about a little shout out for the fans. They came out here early today. Yes. They packed the Civic Center, the XL Center. They packed Camp and Pavilion. They're always there for this team. And, and the chance see to see their following. Their yeah, look at that. Many of them running in the crowd. Dan and Kamani got a couple shots from the bus there, throwing things out to their fans. Have to savor this moment. Back to back. Did it last year. Here we are. How lucky are we doing this all over again? And the talk is, are we going for three? Are we doing a three for? Listen, you don't rebuild here, you reload, as they say. So coach will have to uh, replace, obviously, some top players. They're here sitting with his wife, Andrea, in the back of the bus, throwing out some stuff for the fans. Yeah, I mean, he it's funny. I don't know if you saw it on social media yesterday. Dan tweeted out a picture of him laying on the floor. I did see that. First day of the portal. <laughs> you know, the transfer portal where you go and look to see what players you can add. And he's had quite uh, a successful run in the portal. Camp, portal camp Spencer, Tristan Newton, Hassan Diar, all guys that were other programs that came to UConn immediately contributed. Immediately. Last year, three players went to the NBA. Yep. So, so this year, like you said, there's sort of this this regrouping that happens. But I, I'm wondering what your thoughts on just the road ahead for him and how he's got to now assemble the team with you know Donovan Klingon making his announcement too. Yep, Donovan Klingon's going to the NBA. The, the next domino that could fall would be Steph Castle. He's a freshman from Georgia. Uh, was a McDonald's he's an incredible, incredible talent. And he had an injury earlier in the season, which kind of slowed him down a little bit. But since for, from day one, I remember when the UConn team had an open practice at the end of October, and coach said to us then, keep your eye on this kid. Just keep an eye. A couple of the assistants said the same thing to me. Just watch. We're going to bring him along slowly. And then in the postseason, he was one of the best players in the country. Did everything. Always guarded the best player, just a terrific player. We'll, we'll get back to that in a second. But Ashley Baylor is out in the field as well. She's going to be where the rally is, I believe, Ashley. I am, and everybody's out here singing Miley Cyrus. Totally fine. Anything to keep anybody warm. There's such an amazing energy out here. People have been standing out here for the last 90 minutes to two hours just to get a prime spot to see the UConn players pull right up to the XL Center here. Now, I got a young fan over here. Do you have a favorite player? Tristan Newton. Yeah? Do you have a favorite player? Who do you like? Dior. And you've raised these young, awesome fans. Yep, they are literally the Junior Huskies. <laughs> the Junior Huskies, perfect. Well, I hope you can see your favorite players. How you guys doing today? How are you doing? Amazing. Great. Amazing? Yes. Yeah. All right. How do you guys think the season went? We know they're the champions, but what do you think is going to happen next year? Definitely a three-peat. A three-peat? Absolutely. Yeah, you guys think Number so? seven. So Number seven. Number seven. Perfect. All right. I'm gonna move down here a little bit more because I see a fan here that's draped in a flag here. Was it signed by Dan Hurley? Whose signature is that? That's Yusuf Singari. Oh, okay. Yeah, we he's went the to Phoenix. We were in Phoenix you and he did signed. We go to Phoenix. Yes. Yeah. And we went to Houston last year and we're going to San Antonio next year. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> wow, you already have plans. We already have plans. Those are some big Husky fans. They got plans over here. How long? Huskies! U C O N A! I'm here for the random chance too. Have you guys been out here a while? Uh, about an hour. We're waiting. You're just waiting. It's worth it. Who are you waiting to see? Everybody. 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 Not just one in particular. Coach Hurley, especially. Well, I, I grew up a few doors down from Coach Hurley, Don't so so I'm really excited to see him. Awesome. Are you mad? You remember me? <laughs> so, old school, okay. baby. 1999, baby. 1999. Old school. Are you, were you a fan before that? I'm an old man. What do you want from me? <laughs> 1999, baby. Awesome. All right. So 
They've queued the double deckers. I can't wait to see the energy of this crowd when that bus turns that corner with those six time champions on it. But I will tell you, we have an amazing crowd. There's a little bit of wind, it gets a little bit chilly. It doesn't matter. Look at, they're all singing now and they're all having the best time. Cannot wait to see everybody turn that corner and come down Trumbull Street. Check back in a little bit. All right, so we, thank you so much, Ashley. We are anticipating the rally that was supposed to happen at 11.30, and as you know, parades don't always go exactly according to plan or on time, but as soon as that rally starts, where the players are going to be speaking, the governor's going to be speaking, the lieutenant governor, the mayor of Hartford, they're, they're going to be sharing their comments, really sharing the love for the uh, the Huskies and just what they have achieved back-to-back -back two years in a row. Feels like New Year's Eve. I'm waiting for it the does. ball to drop here. Ash is out in the middle of all the crowd. Again, there's the bus making its way, and we, we touched upon it briefly. The final four next year is in San Antonio for the men and Tampa for the women. So let's just book the reservations right now. I think so too. Let's I think it. so. We should, right? Get the airfare, get the hotels, knock it out Cheap right Cheap flights, now. let's yeah. go. A, a little less than a year from now. The, and the women, I mean, seriously, they are, they have everyone coming back next year. People are going to be healthy, hopefully, and they can be doing this next year, just like the men. I was heartbroken over the women, yep. but you're exactly right. We're putting our positivity out there for next year. And they're going to go. They're going to get there. You were heartbroken. I had to drive back from Cleveland. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. An eight-hour drive. Yeah. How'd that go? Oh, it was beautiful. poor Garrett. Quiet He's with ride. Jeff out there right now. And then he had to ride eight hours in the car with me from Cleveland. <laughs> Look at this bus. This is so much fun. Look the at these fans. Everyone wants something. A little t-shirt toss. I want to say this turnout. Last year, 45,000 people showed up. Yep. There's a lot of people along this parade route just feeling electric. Oh, it's it's, a, it's a good word. Electric is the right word. And again, I, I just you can't minimize what this team has done. Let's I mean, talk about it. 37 Shall and we? three, yeah. Two national 37 championships. and three. Yep. Two national championships back to back. Most wins in program history. So they only lost to Kansas, Seton Hall, and Creighton. Yep. So Huskies won Big East regular season, yep. the Big East tournament, and of course the national championship. Yep. And only eighth men's program to repeat in college hoops since Florida in 06, 07. So it's been 17 years since the team has accomplished this. And listen, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves here. But why not? Let's but let's, you know, the whole stairway to seven. I love that. I love, love that, that on the social. We heard that about that today. This year, UConn was the top seed in the East region, right? Number one overall seed in the NCAA. So their journey was from Brooklyn, New York, to Boston, Massachusetts, to Arizona. Next year, the East region top seed would go from Providence to Newark, New Jersey, where Dan Hurley is from. Oh. How about that? I, d I didn't realize that. That sounds pretty good to me. That sounds great. All right, we're going to check back in with our reporter, Jeff Dedarian, who is on the parade route. He is going to let us know how things are shaping up out there. How's it going there, Jeff? Just getting his bearings there. It's hard to hear out there between the crowd and everything else going on. You got on. a band, band yes, yeah. trombones in your ear. I mean, come on. But if you're just joining us, this is the Yukon National Championship Victory Parade and Rally. There is the man of the hour, head coach Dan Early. Yeah, putting the two fingers out. Back to back championships. Let's go for a three peat, right, coach? Absolutely. You know the other thing, he embraces this. He he doesn't run away from this. He said it all year that they had a target on their backs. He, he, again, embraced the challenge, wanting to win another title. And just some of the things he would say after games, you know, we, we systematically tried to beat our opponent, and they did. I mean, the margin of victory in all these games were all double digits. I mean, we were sitting in Boston when they were playing Illinois. John and I are in the press box, and they went on a 30 to nothing run. Like, if you're sitting at home right now and you're like, 30 nothing, like, that doesn't happen. No, it that, doesn't. That does not happen. There was people there that have been covering the sport for 40 years who were just looking at each other going, what are we watching? Well, you're watching greatness. That's what we're watching. What was so interesting, so Coach Dan Hurley, he said that this team, this season, right, so they coming off a national championship last season, the way they approached this season, he said they treated the court like a group of people who have never won anything. Yeah. They played the season like they had accomplished nothing. Mm -hmm. And that struck me, that they came out not, not with the expectation of, oh, here we are, yeah. here we are, you know, champs, and, and what, that they came out and with fresh eyes, a fresh take, 
uh, and they they won. And you, you know what? You got to give them a lot of credit because you know we hear it all the time. We both have kids, and there's I have teenagers. It's all about the like, you know, on social media, this and that, and all about me, me, me. But they won last year, celebrated it for a little bit, and then in June we're back together working to win a title and coach really does a great job of you celebrate the wins you think about the losses here and there then you move on to the next turn the page trust the process and the process has got them two national champs and again just look at all these people wearing their yukon jerseys and the bands it's just it is quite a sight to see in our capital city there is so much love and admiration for this program across our state and there's a new landscape happening in college basketball there's name, image, and likeness. This is really uncharted territory where, where college players for the first time have the chance to make some money yes. a, as they go through this. And Coach Hurley has talked about this too. He seems to be supportive of this as well. But for these players, this is, this is a new game, a new layer to the game, I should say, all in itself. Yeah, name, image, likeness, and also the transfer portal. Back in the old days, if you transferred from a school, so you wanted to leave somewhere, you had to sit out a year. Now you can play right away. So that has changed the game as well. But the name, image, likeness, we heard these stories for years that players, you know, they, they couldn't afford to go to a movie because they weren't allowed to have jobs. They couldn't, you know, go out on a date, take someone out to dinner because they didn't have money. They had to eat in the dining halls. Well, now there are opportunities. Earlier this week, I was at Raising Cane in Enfield, the, the, one of the new chicken joints where Donovan Klingon, Tristan Newton, and Steph Castle were there. It was an NIL opportunity where they were paid a fee to come, sign autographs, read some promotional copy, and and that's just like, like and why not, I guess? There's some people who are against it, um, and maybe there needs to be some stricter rules because you don't want people to take advantage of the athletes or the programs, et cetera, but why not? And there's Alex Caravan holding the trophy, and I guess that makes it all worth it seeing him do that, right? Yes, absolutely, and yesterday in Enfield, I have to say my favorite moment was seeing Dominic Klingon out the drive through window, handing out orders, seven foot two. There, there he, he is, is, right there, yep. video. Uh, what a crowd. Everybody seems to be following them, too. I think they're handing out T-shirts or something. Yeah, Donovan Coveted Klingon items. had the little headset on in the drive through window and he trying did. to get his seven-foot-two frame through the window <laughs> to hand some bags of food to customers. It was, it was so much fun. And again, took time to sign autographs, talk to the fans, and he's just a great kid. And we've been covering him since his sophomore year in high school at Bristol Central. And like I said, he's been through so much in his life, lost his mom at a young age. His dad is a great guy, Bill, who's been with him every step of the way. And it couldn't happen to a better kid who now is going to try to chase an NBA dream. I think what's really special is, is you have this experience where you get to know the players both on the court mm -hmm. and off the court. And I'm wondering the stories that have stuck with you with players like Donovan Klingon now that he's making his announcement that he's going to enter the NBA draft. So this to me, it's sort of this bittersweet moment, right? Uh, well, some of the stories that have stuck with you. Well, Donovan specifically, him. I'll tell you, when he was in high school, a lot of people weren't sure if he could play at this level. That was until he got to UConn. Coach Hurley believed in him from day one, but a, a lot of people weren't sure if he could do it, and he proved his critics wrong, and now he's going to the NBA. Jeff Dadarian's out in the uh, crowd with all the uh, thousands of people. Jeff, do you hear us out there? Again, it's very loud out there. Coach Hurley is right there, just sitting next to him as the bus makes its way to the rally. Look at Dan. They're almost there. They are almost to the rally where the number of players are going to be heading up to the podium. They will be speaking. We look forward to hearing what they have to say. What is Our Coach doing here? Excuse me. I was putting on something. Do we have a wardrobe change going maybe on here, Maybe he's Catherine? signing. I don't yes, know. Yes, people throw it's things that he will sign. Yeah, maybe that's he's it. He's got the Sharpie ready to go. Yep, you're right. Yep. He signed it. He's tossing yep. it back. Making sure the right person gets it. That's so nice. Taking a minute. Oh, he is and just I want the energy. loving it. I mean, a lot of caffeine on that. I can't person. blame them. Can't say I haven't had a lot of caffeine this morning. I was excited. We walked in today to the newsroom. Like, it's parade day. Let's go. I, I can mean, get used to this. Me too. Me too. It's so uplifting. This is such a celebrated and beloved team. He's ready for three. Did you yes, see, that? I did see that? Again, I told he you is. he embraces it. Three Pete. He's Let's saying three Pete. He is not shy. So fun to watch and to celebrate them. Quite the uh 
quite the homecoming here. Yeah, they're making their way to, uh, again, if you're just joining us, this is the Yukon National Championship Victory Parade. Those are the Huskies, Coach Hurley, on the double-decker bus, slowly making their way to the XL Center while they will depart the bus. There's Donovan Klingen signing some autographs. Coach Hurley's son, Andrew, right there next to him. And, and let's talk about that for a second. Going through the last few years with your son by your side. Yeah. I mean, how great is that? He has an older son. He did. Son. He put him in the game. He, he did. He put. put he, he ended a lot game. of the games. He'd be the last player. There was a couple. Last year, his son Andrew had the ball in his hand, dribbling out the clock as they won the national championship. And Incredible. on senior night, very emotional. Dan Hurley, you don't see that too much. Tears in his eyes as he was handing his son a framed jersey. I mean, four years together. It's not often you get to celebrate journeys like this with your family. It is. It's so great. Look, Look at, at this crowd. sea of people. This is wonderful. All right, so we're gonna we're waiting for some players who are gonna be speaking. Hartford's mayor, the governor, lieutenant governor. Uh, we have UConn's uh, director of athletics, who's gonna also be uh, speaking. Coach as well, and then Klingon's gonna be speaking. Yep. Caravan, Spencer, and Newton. We can't wait for that. Yeah, we're gonna take a timeout. We're gonna kind of reset back here in the studio. Again, UConn National Championship Victory Parade and Rally. The team is approaching the XL Center right now. They're gonna get off that bus and get on the stage, and we'll be right back to hear from the national champion Huskies. It's confetti time. Welcome back to the victory parade and rally for the national champion UConn men's basketball team. There is just a crush of a really a sea of people in downtown Hartford as the team is expected to take the podium. They're currently on the double decker bus, but they will head to the podium and speak to just the incredible crowd in downtown Hartford. And this really, I mean, listen, we expected this. We expected big crowds last night. All of our preview stories, the Hartford Police Department told us, like, we're ready for this. There's going to be a lot of people there. And there are just tens of thousands of UConn fans. And again, this just tells you how important this group of players and this coaching staff is to Connecticut. That's I love mean, right there. Yeah, I mean, right? this is, they're all here for their Huskies. Listen, it's a Saturday. The weather's been crappy the last few days. I mean, this is a big commitment. You're leaving your house at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the yeah. morning. You got to park the car. You got to bundle the kids up, you know, get them something to drink and eat while you're there. And then you see this and it's all worth it as we celebrate the national champion, UConn Huskies. And the big question, 
Three Pete. Can we do three it? Three Pete. We saw Coach Hurley. He he had the number three. He was giving the hand signals out to the crowd. He kept saying Three Pete, and individually they, they were throwing out shirts and, and different memorabilia to the crowd, and then people were throwing things up at the bus. And he was taking the time to sign it along with uh, some of the players there, just showing their dedication to these uh, Husky fans. So they it looks like they are about to get off that bus, yep. still throwing things out to the crowd. We saw the confetti going. Uh, there, there's just it's it's electric. The crowd has been excited uh, from the get go and our crews have been out there uh, since earlier this morning and they've said that people are just so proud and they want to celebrate them in in true fashion and they're doing it. They turned out today in Hartford. Yeah, they're on the stage again. We have a list of dignitaries. You mentioned the governor, the mayor of Hartford. Uh, obviously the team, Coach Hurley, and I'm sure uh, three or four players will talk. But I want you to do is really just enjoy what you're seeing here because, again, some of these players will not be back next year. Tristan Newton is out of eligibility. He'll graduate, move on to the NBA. Cam Spencer, a graduate student, he'll move on to the NBA. Donovan Klingon, as we mentioned, two years, two titles. He's going to the NBA, and we will now wait to see what Steph Castle decides to do. And then, obviously, other seniors, Andrew Hurley, we mentioned, who, you know, more of a bench player, but the coach's son. And there'll be other players who maybe want to go somewhere else just to try to get more playing time. Coach Hurley will bring in other players. So this roster is going to look a lot different next year. Hopefully Alex Caravan comes back. He'd be a key piece to any run the Huskies try to make next year. But really enjoy the players you see on this stage because they've done so much for the team, for the school and more importantly for the state of Connecticut. You're absolutely right. That That's the big question. Where are they going to go? The NBA draft is in June, so Correct. that's that's the big question there. And what will this team, you know, look like next year? And, and I have faith. I mean, last year you had three players leave for the NBA. Yep. Sounds like we got three more go to the NBA. Uh, I have faith in a three-peat. I sure do, I believe. Coach Hurley said he was going to enjoy the championship for a few days and go back to work there. At, at, you know, the transfer portal opened a couple weeks ago. So they're kind of behind the eight ball because other teams and other coaches have been going in there making contact. But if you're the UConn Huskies, you're holding up that trophy, I got to think that gives you a little bit of an advantage I when you can so. show a player that, hey, come here, you win. That's the most important thing, right? They are taking the stage. We are awaiting for them to speak momentarily. And as soon as they do, we will, of course, uh, bring that to you. But the crowd has been incredible. And it, again, just shows Husky Nation in full effect. I see a little one up there, too. I believe that's stage. Luke Murray's son. Oh, cute. John Pearson got video of him dancing in the uh, locker room at Madison Square Garden, which was hysterical. Uh, John had tweeted it out, so make sure you check that out. We've run the story a couple times. Terrific. But again, it goes to that family thing, the coaches, the players. I mean, Luke Murray's son, his grandfather's Bill Murray, the famous actor and comedian yep. who's been along for the ride at every game. Uh, very approachable, by the way and just always deflecting to his son and the coaching staff. During that national championship game, Bill Murray was having some fun oh, with the Coach crowd Calhoun on the as well. Jumbotron. Yeah, oh my yeah. God, hysterical. Coach Calhoun laying, laying in his lap, and yeah. then he was having a flex off with Drew, Drew Brees. Brees. Yep, absolutely. It was, it was hilarious to, uh, to watch. And he was in all the hotel lobbies during the, during the run last year, and this year you see Governor Lamont there on the stage to your right. That's Coach Hurley walking up there, shaking hands with Alex Caravan. Can't help but get swept up in all this. It's gotta feel good. And here's this is really Connor. Good. This is Connor, the uh, kind of the Yukon PA guy up in stores, and he's gonna get this rally going. Yukon Nation, welcome back to back. Let's go! You got this. It feels like only a year ago we were celebrating the national champs with a victory parade in our capital city of. We've got some words from our players and our dignitaries, and I'd like to invite up to the podium to speak first. The mayor of our great capital city, Arunin Arulampalam. What's up, UConn Nation? You ready to get this party started? We are so excited to have you here in Hartford. This is your city. I hope I hope you spend the whole day and party with us because there's nothing more electric than when the Huskies come to town. <laughs> and to, to, to Coach Hurley and the Huskies, I just want to say on behalf of the UConn Nation, you make us so proud. You have dominated. You have shown for the second year in a row that UConn are true blue bloods. 
and that, and that this is the center of basketball for the last 25 to 30 years. Am I right, coach? Yeah. This, is, this is the most dominant team of the 21st century, and we are so proud of our UConn Huskies. So what do you say, UConn Nation? You ready to come back next year to this spot? Let's go, UConn! I want to introduce you to your UConn Huskies! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Up next, please help me welcome our esteemed Lieutenant Governor, Susan Bysowitz! Hello, Husky Nation! Are we so proud of this amazing team? Yes! Are we going to have a third back-to-back -back championship next year? And are the Huskies going to win? The Husky women going to win next year? Woo! All right, congratulations. We're so proud of you. We are the college basketball capital of the world. Go Huskies! Thank you so much, Lieutenant Governor. Up next, please help me welcome the governor of the great state of Connecticut where champions are made and championships are built, Ned Lamont. Hey, America, this is what the basketball capital of America looks like right here. Let's hear it for the Huskies. The women are going to be next year. Look at the guys. We are the champions, my friends. God bless you all. Thank you, Governor Lamont. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage the athletic director of this championship program, David Benedict! Best fans in the world right here! Six years ago, we had a chance to introduce our head coach, Dan Hurley, and I get a chance to do it again. Two-time national championship head coach, Dan Hurley. Yeah, yeah, let's hear it. Come get loud as shit, come on. Back to back. Hey, everywhere we went this year, yeah. <laughs> yeah, get loud. Let's go. Hey. Hey, everywhere we went this year, every arena we went into, on the road, MSG, Brooklyn, Boston, the Phoenix, we said the same thing every time we walked into the arena. We always said, the champs are here. Right, the champs are here. The, the champs are here today in Hartford with the best fans in the world, right? Basketball capital world, stores Connecticut. Back to back champs, back to back champs. Some of the greatest players to ever wear the uniform, right? Some of the greatest players to ever wear the UConn uniform are up here. And then next year we go for the three-peat. Let's go. 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 Let's welcome Connecticut native, UConn's own Donovan Klingon. UConn Nation, let's go. Back to back champs, what do you say? Nah, I just want to thank everyone. This team wants to thank everyone. You guys gave us a lot of support, a lot of boost this year. You guys made us want to go out there and win another one. I appreciate you guys. You guys have been the best fans to me for the past two years. I'll, I'll cherish those moments for the rest of my life. I'll be a Husky for life. Love you guys.
Yukon Nation, let's go! Thank you guys for everything. We wouldn't be here without you guys and the support, and you guys are the best fans in the country. So thank you, enjoy back to back, and you know, thank you guys for everything. Thank you so much, Alex. You know, listen, he wasn't here last year, but we had to get him one, didn't we? Welcome to the podium, Cam Spencer! Just want to say thank you for all the support. You know, we wouldn't have been able to accomplish this without you guys. You know, we, we feel like we have the best fans in the country, and, uh, you know, I, I was only here for a year, but, you know, I'll be a Husky for life, and thank you for everything, so. Thank you, Cam. Next up to the podium, it is the most recent Husky of honor and the MOP himself, Tristan Newton! You know, I just want to come up here and say thank you for all the support that you guys have given me the past two years and supporting the team. Uh, without you guys, back to back wouldn't have been possible. And, you know, thank you for everything. Citizens of the basketball capital of the world, one more time, your back to back national champions, the Yukon Huskies! Two in a row, six. Donovan, hold the trophy up. Hey, hey, everybody's bring it. Bring it in, guys. Back to the back. Back to back. Back to back to back to back. To back. Go for three. We're oh. going for three now. Again, the Yukon Victory Parade. You heard from all the key players. Athletic director David Benedict you hiring Dan Hurley six years ago. That's going to look pretty you good. Everybody. It sure does. He was talking about that UConn has the best fans you in the world, and a lot of the players you. repeated that sentiment, saying, we couldn't have done this without you and your support. They, they, were, pretty, they were short and sweet. Yep. The players, we, we heard from Coach himself uh, talking about the, what he says before every single game, that he says the champs are here before they get out of the court. I love that. I there, didn't know there, that. Yeah, there is a swagger to this team. And again, there sure is. Embracing the, the, the bulletin board material, the, the target on their back the entire season, and despite all of that, and it's we talked about it briefly earlier, it's so hard to do this one time, let alone twice, and then you go through a whole season. Listen, teenagers are teenagers. You know, some days they don't want to go to practice. They want to sit in their room and play Xbox. You know, they're also students. Like, to stay this hungry, you know, to, to do it again. Yes. It, it takes so much hard work. And, and again, it's something we may never see again. I know. I was taken in the moment. I really was. Uh, and Donovan Klingon, he went up there and he said, I will always be a Husky for life because you realize, you know, his, his journey is going in a different direction in yeah. basketball. And it's so true at the Final Four, John Pearson interviewed Ray Allen, Omeka Okafor, Richard Hamilton. These are all former UConn players who all, this year they celebrated the 25th anniversary of the 1999 championship team. The entire team came back to Hartford to celebrate that with their coach, Jim Calhoun. We talked to him before the game. They all were honored at halftime. They all had these special jackets. And it's just what Jim Calhoun built is something special that no one has ever done. That says something. Yeah. And, and the loyalty back. there, the commitment, yeah. the support through the decades, uh, and say, we're, we're going to be here yeah. no matter what. And th this team has had, and coaches, this is a rock star reception, no doubt about it. The amount of people in that crowd cheering them on uh, throughout all of this has been electric and just fun to watch. 
Uh, and, and again, they were really saying they're grateful for the fans, uh, how they've supported them throughout this season back to back. I was thinking if there's a third, then that would be back to back to back yep. championships. Let's do it. Let's, do it. Let's yeah. go. Coach really talks about the organization. That's a big word he uses our organization. From the, the, the video production department, guys who work hard put together all their help put together their video of scout teams, et cetera, from top to bottom. As they say, it takes a village, Catherine, and this is this is what happens when everyone works hard, sticks together, and has one goal, a national championship. They're really enjoying this uh, out there. You can see the confetti flying, that blue oh, and selfie, white look confetti. at that. He's good with the selfies. <laughs> he gets it. He, he gets does. it. He really does. He knows how to uh, show his fans love right back to them. And they're throwing out gear to the crowd. They've been doing that all along that parade route uh, during the tour. But this has been incredibly fun to watch today. And it we has. Hope, Let's hope do it you. again next year. We should. Yeah, we, 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 we could plan. stay here all day and talk Huskies. we got to go NHL on ABC coming up next. Rangers and Islanders, thanks so much for watching, everyone. It's been a blast. Have a great day, everybody.